was warming up in the driveway on Jefferson Avenue Monday night around 8 when Joyce James and her husband heard a gear shift. When I heard the engine, the sound of it slowly going away, and I could hear the car moving down the driveway, that's when he jumped up and ran outside, and by that time, the car was already gone. It all happened instantly. Two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. It happened that fast. And they were off. Police believe two teenagers, 16-year-old Emilio Esteban Garcia and an unidentified 17-year-old stole the gold-colored car. They drove from the James home and for about 30 minutes they went undetected until police started receiving reports of a shooting on Rose Hedge Drive just north of Douglas Avenue. They Colored Saturn shot out the windshield of a vehicle. This is going to be a stolen vehicle as well. No one was injured in the shooting, but we found one car parked on the street with three bullet holes in its windshield. They might have been shooting out, just randomly shooting out car windows. The two teams took off again, and within six minutes, police spotted the car. It blew the red light at Hickman South on 30th. By the time he got turned around, the car was gone and it was within less than a minute later that another officer found the crash. It was at 30th and Jefferson Avenue. The teens hit a delivery van and slammed into a fence. And when the story broke... He said, listen to this, and he read it to me. And he just knew that was the car. James and her husband went to the scene. They were told the car is a loss, but it's not the car they are worried about. This is just devastating to both of us, very upsetting. It's the fact Garcia died and the 17-year-old is still hospitalized. I've already prayed for both of their souls and for their families and hopefully things turn out great for the young man that's still fighting for his life.